Hello students, welcome to Supergrads. So today I am going to discuss a very much calculation intensive set from ZAT previous years. Now this set is regarding, it says Twitter allows its users to post, share and read short messages known as tweets. Tweets can be of three types, positive tweets in support, negative tweets against and neutral tweets. I'm sure all of you are aware of tweets. It's so popular Twitter, which is now known as X. So this is very popular. And this question is based on that. It says the following table presents the number of votes. Okay, votes are also there and tweets received by certain political parties. So this is the table given. We will come to this. It says any party which has secured less than 2% of the total votes falls under other parties category. For example, party E secured less than 2% of the total votes in the year 2000. So basically this will be, if you add all this, we get total number of votes that has been voted in year 2000. Now E got less than 2%. That's why number of votes received by E has been included in this other parties count. And same for all the years. Now it says, if the vote share, which is percentage of total votes of a party changes from 15% to 40%, gain in vote share would be 25%. The basic difference, nothing else, for any two years, if you want to find gain in vote share, you can just take the difference of those two years. Now, in case of tweets, total number of tweets has been given. Positive tweets percentage has been given, negative tweets percentage has been given. So we can simply find out how many neutral tweets percentage are there and we can find then the value if required. So let's see. Let's check the questions. It says which of the following options correctly arranges the political parties in descending order of gain in vote share. Gain in vote share. How do we find gain in vote share? So what do we need for gain in vote share is vote percentage in one year and vote percentage in second year. So for that, we need to find the percentage share of each parties in each year, right? So next question is which of the following parties received maximum number of neutral tweets? This we can find out directly by finding percentage of neutral tweets and then multiplying it to given number of tweets for each party. It says between 2000 and 2010, in terms of gain in vote share, again gain in vote share, which of the following cannot be a possible approximated to decimal place for any party. Again, what do we need is we need to find the percentage of votes for each party in each year. Next, it says in 2010, which of the following options has maximum difference between the vote share again vote share is nothing but percentage of vote and tweet share so in this case we can find total number of tweets and then their percentage value so it says let's let's focus on this table we need to find the percentage values of course so first we need to add all this right so let's find out the total here 25 plus 75 100 plus 100 is 200, two zeros, carry 2, now 7 plus 4, 11 plus carry 2, 13 plus 2, 15 plus 4, 19 plus 1, 20, again carry 2, next it will be 9 plus 2, 11 plus 3, 14 plus 6, 20 plus 7, 27 plus 8, 35, so now we have carry 3, then comes 3 plus 2, 5, 5, 3, 8, 8 plus 9, 17 plus 2, 19 plus 9, 28. And uh, I guess there has been some mistake. This should be 7 plus 4, 11 plus 2, 13 plus 4, 17 plus 8, 18. This should be 0. Carry was 2. I have written it 2, but it will be 0 because carry was 2. Now, what's left? 3 plus 1 plus 1, 5, carry 2, 7. So this will be 7,85,000. This is the total value of total number of votes voted in year 2000. 
Now we can find the percentage share of A. So for A, it will be 329700 divided by 78500 into 100. So this will be cancelled out, right? This will also be cancelled out. This is 157 into 5 and this is if we cancel out by 5, this will be 6 times 29, 5 times. Then comes again 4, 7. So this will be 9 times 2, 0. So this will be 4 times. Now, what will be the value of this? So if you check, this number is exactly divisible by this one. And this value will be 42%. So we get 42%. Now, for party B, we can find 133450 divided by 785000 into 100. This is cancelled out. This will also be cancelled out. 157 into 5. And this will be 2 times, 6 times, 6 times, 9 times. Now, this will be cancelled out by 17 times. So this will be 17%. So we can write 42% here. We can write 17% here. And again, with lots of lots of calculation, we can fill all the values. And we will have to do that because uh, three questions are based on this. So definitely, we need to work on that. And what we need to do is do all the calculation and then move to the questions. So this is the complete table. It will require lots of time, like at least seven to eight minutes to do all the calculation. But in the next two minutes, you can solve all the questions very easily. So it says, which of the following options correctly arranges the political parties in descending order of gain in vote share from the year 2005 to 2010? 2005 to 2010. So 39 minus 37, this will be 2%. 17.5 minus 24.5, this will be a minus 7%. 14% minus 16.5, this will be a minus 2.5%. 5.5 minus 5.5, this will be 0%. Again, this will be minus 1.5%. And for others, it will be 20.5 minus 11.5, which will be equal to 9%. In case of ascending order, in case of descending order, we need to take the largest one first. Now, there is no other parties. We don't need to calculate it. But the in, in these cases, which one is the largest? If we check. So from it will be 7%. Let me check if it was reverse. So it says gain in vote 40 minus 15. So definitely we need to take the opposite of this. So we will have to take it like this. We have done this. This is this doesn't matter. OK, so now the largest one is B. OK, then comes C, then comes E, then comes D as it is zero and A is negative. So B, C, E, D, A, which is option D. Now you can see how easy it is now to solve. Which of the following parties received maximum number of neutral tweets in the year 2010? in the year 2010 so first let's write the percentage value okay neutral tweets percentage okay so 33 plus 35 68.7 right 68.7 what are we left with 100 minus 69 is 31 so this will become 31 point three percent right 31 point 3% next 30 plus 29 59 plus 1.1 it will be 60.1 so this will be 39.9% all right what's next 32 plus 26 this will be 58 plus 1.1 59.1, so 40.9 percent. Next, this will be 30 plus 36, so 66 plus 7, so this will be 33.3 percent. 
then comes 62.6 so it will be 6337.4 percent right these are the values and we need to find which had the maximum number of neutral tits party a is, is not given so we can cancel out this one now if i want to choose these numbers these percentages are very close but these values are there are big difference as you can see 37% is lesser than 39% and 32000 is lesser than 1 lakh so we can simply cancel out e we can simply cancel out this portion similarly we can cancel out d also 33 is less than 39 41 is less than 1 lakh 8000 so now we have to choose only between these two this has not been given only between these two so let's see what we can do here 1 lakh 8000 almost 40 percent we can say we can say this is almost 40 percent and this is 41 percent now you can see the difference the difference is 12,000 where do you need to calculate exact value definitely not the 40 percent what is 10 percent of this so 10 this will be 10,800 right yes 10 percent will be 1 lakh 8,128 10 percent will be 10,800 something so in that case 40,000 40 percent 40 will be almost 10,800 into 4 which is 43,000 so this will be 43,000 something and if you check this value even if it was 1 lakh it would have been 41,000 so this value is definitely less than 41,000 so the greatest one is this one which is party b so again you can see by comparing values you can also solve a calculation based question very easily question number three it says between 2000 and 2010 in terms of gain in vote share which of the following cannot be a possible value so 2000 and 2010 what is the gain value here so 37 percent minus 42 percent this will be minus 5 percent 24.5 minus 17 it's 7.5 percent 16.5 minus 25 so this will be 8.5 percent minus 8.5 percent now 5.5 percent minus 3.5 percent this will be 2 percent now in case of e what do we know this value is less than two percent right this value is less than two percent that's why this is counted in others so the difference five the maximum it can be if you take it close to two then the difference would be three as soon as we go towards zero percent two to zero percent the maximum will be five minus zero which is five so this will be three to five percent right this will be three to five percent this is what we can say and 11.5 minus 12.5 will be minus 1%. This is what we have. Let's see which of the following cannot be a possible value. 2% it's possible in case of D. 2.5% not possible. 3.5% possible in case of E. 4.5% again yeah, possible here. 7.5% is already possible. Which one is not possible? 2.5%. That's it. Next, it says in 2010, which of the following options has maximum difference between the vote shares and tweet shares? So, vote shares and tweet shares again 2010. So, we already have the percentage share, vote share. We need to find the uh, tweet share. So, again, we will have to add this value. We need to find the percentage of each of these cases. Right? Then only we will know which, which party had what share here so let's add this so 1 plus 8 9 plus 8 17 then 1 left 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 plus 2 7 plus 2 9 plus 2 11 carry 1 1 plus 1 2 plus 6 8 plus 5 13 plus 7 13 plus 7 again 20 carry 2 1 plus 2 3 plus 8 11 plus 6 17 plus 1 
18 plus 2, 20 plus 5, 25, carry 2, 13 plus 2, 15 plus 10, 25 plus 9, 34 plus 4, 38 plus 3, 38 plus 3, 41 plus 1, 42. This is the total. Now we need to find the percentage value. Now it says maximum difference between the both share and to its share, right? So we can find the percentage value here in each cases. Now in case of in case of A, total share is 37%. Now what we can say about total difference. Now you can see A is not given here. So we can simply discard A here. The vote share of B is 24.5%. What will be the approximate vote share of B here? This is 4,25,000. This is 1,8,000. 1,8,000 into 4 is 4,32,000, which is very close to this value. So this value will be approximate, approximate close to 25%. It will be lesser than 25%. So the difference will be very less. We need to find the maximum. So let's avoid this at this time. This is 16.5%. What will be this value? In case of party C, this is 96, this is 42. So again, what we can say, 10% of this value will be 42,500. This is 96,000. 42 into 2, 84. 84 plus 12. Okay, plus 12. So 20% will give us 84,000. What about 12? So this into 3, that will be 3%. So 20, this will be approximate 23%. Let's see, let's see what are the differences. If we have close values, then we will calculate exact. But most of the time you will see that the you if you take approximation like this, you are getting it correct. Now, in this case, 41,000, this is approximate 10%. This is less than 10%. This value is very much less than 10%. This will be 8%. 42,000, 10%. 8 into 4, 32. This will be approximate 8%. And this value will be very less. This value will be like 42,000. One is 10%. One third of that is 14,000 something. So 15,000, we can say 3.33% something, right? Okay, very 3.5%, you can say. Now let's check the differences here. If you check the difference, this is 23 and this is 16.5. The difference in case of C will be, it will be 6.5%, right? 6.5%. This value is 4.5. This value is 3%. Now, in this case, in this case, this is 11.5. This is 3.33. This value is definitely greater than 8%. Doesn't matter how much approximation we have taken. Other parties is the clear winner here. We can simply mark this as option A. So lots of calculation. Of course, calculation set leave But if you are good with calculation, then you can crack these type of sets very easily. And if you have any kind of problem with speed calculation, let me know. I will take a session on speed calculation very soon. Thank you.